guys welcome back to the channel what I thought I would do is show you guys um, I ended up dying my fretboard on one of my ESP bases that I picked up uh, most recent one actually told you guys I'd do that in one of the videos and uh, I went ahead and did that last night and it turned out really really nice I still got to wipe the surface uh, excess off this is three coats and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what that looks like before I wipe it off so yeah i wanted to leave it on uh, for this final coat and then just um, take the excess off when i woke up which actually i just woke up so uh bear with me usually when i first get up half the shit that comes out of my mouth doesn't really make any sense so uh, wish me luck so yeah what i'm gonna do is just take my rag like i did like i did a whole um video series on this and i actually messed up i, I messed up pretty bad on the uh the initial uh start of um, staining my fretboard on my Jackson Soloist which I left in the video and I explained what I did wrong and all that kind of stuff just uh, you know for a good laugh and for basically educational purposes to tell you like explain and show you what not to do make a long story short I uh, forgot to stir the stain I did everything else right except for that part so that's where uh, shit just went bad but I did everything 100% right on this one and um, it definitely shows because this came out even like when I put the first coat on here it looked great but I just I like that deep jet black look and that's what I was going for so this final coat I left on there overnight and um, yeah I'm gonna wipe it off real quick and then uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, after I'm done so hang on a second I'll make sure I provide a link in the description for you guys too uh, it was a part four series that I did on my Jackson where it was called making it pop that's what I titled it because it definitely pops I'll actually show you what that looks like if you guys haven't seen that video which you will if you decide to watch it if not that's cool too then leave haha <laughs> just kidding but yeah that's how it ended up coming out as opposed to that just gaudy rosewood look that I just don't care for I'm just not into a rosewood look on most guitars some of them pass, but uh, and for the most part, I don't get into it. I don't know, something about uh, the ebony look on guitars, it almost makes it look like the guitar is more th worth more than it really is. This is my opinion. I just, I always liked ebony. Just really, really sets off the, uh, especially depending on what color of the guitar. Like this one, it just, it makes like a night and day difference on it. At some point, I'm going to go ahead and dye my other base and dye that rosewood fretboard too, and do the same thing to this one. Or, yeah, I told you I don't make very much sense when I first wake up. I'm going to dye that fretboard the same as this one. So let me know in the description if you want to do uh, if you want me to do a video series on that one. I'll make sure I do it when I'm not half asleep, so I make a little more sense when I actually talk. <laughs> I can go back and laugh at these videos too. Rub it out. Ah, oh, Kev, you're so silly. Yeah, this is pretty much like jet black. I love it. Believe it or not, this was actually a bit easier to do than the guitars, just simply because you have a longer scale, uh, 25 and a half to 26 and a half, 27, depending on what guitar you have, and then got a 35 inch scale to work with, so you got that much more space between the frets when you go to sand it. Yeah, it was just um, a lot easier to do. It took a little bit more time, but um, I really don't care because uh, the end result, it just looks really, really amazing. Provided that you did it right the first time, Kev. Dumbass. But you guys will see what I'm talking about if you go and watch those videos. Guys, just real quick before I go and throw my strings on and start setting this bass up, let me show you uh, what the final product, I finally got around to uh, finishing. Um, what I wanted to do was give it a really good cleaning and uh, polish up all the hardware and things like that just so this thing, because it was oxidized quite a bit. So this is that other bass that I picked up locally the uh, duplicate of the f4 uh, ah, i can't even say it the f415 flame maple so i went and polished everything on the bridge yeah, it just made a world of difference polished the knobs 
and then I also polished the tuning pegs top and bottom I'll flip this over as you can see right there I mean it just everything just looks brand spanking new now I'll leave the name for you guys in the description so you can uh, pick some up uh, it works awesome on this kind of hardware on guitars so here's the um, final product on the uh, ebony fretboard it's been done for a while I just haven't got around to making a video on all this yet because I wanted to like I said I wanted to clean up uh, the hardware and everything just make this thing look as brand spanking new as possible but that's how it looks right now there might be a little bit of dust and shit on here but um, no I'm gonna start restringing this bad boy and um, I'm gonna put it back in uh, now it was in um, I think it was in drop a I'll probably put it back to where it was there and then um, I'll take a look at everything see how the neck is and things like that what I got to change what kind of adjustments if, if any if at all I don't know what kind of strings he had on here but so the string gauge that I'm gonna throw on here and the string manufacturer brand whatever the Adarios man um, I've always liked these strings now I, I've, I've played around with like Ernie Ball and things like that too on my guitars in the past I've tried a couple other brands but uh, just I keep falling at the Adario. I just I love the brightness of them, how long they last. I've never, I can't even remember the last time I even broke a string, or if it was even my damn fault. Like when it happened, I think the string had to basically fall off the guitar before it ever corroded and was done. I mean, there's been points where I got pretty lazy to where I think I've left strings on uh, some of my guitars for maybe a year or longer. And they just they become so dead that uh, you just re end up replacing them without even breaking them. They're just, um, they're built to last. I love them. I love the Adario strings and just how long uh, the brightness sticks around for you. But yeah, we're going to go with, like I said, we're going to go with these. And um, I'm going to start with uh, the drop A that this was originally in. And then we're going to take a look at everything, see how, the ne see how um, straight the neck is, if anything needs to be adjusted, maybe the action lowered. And uh, we'll go from there. She is, guys, with the strings on it. So that is the new look. Strings attached, I'm gonna grab this sucker. It just, why is my camera doing this again? I'll never figure this out. This camera's just too smart for my stupid ass. But no, uh, yeah, I really, like I said, it sets off that transparent black finish a lot better when you got a dyed board like that. No, I love it, man. Sounds great, plays great. I got these new strings on here. that sounds disgustingly brutal now I just got to get disgustingly brutal but with my determination my commitment I'm totally committed to getting better on these things man it's just uh it's a journey but it's a lot of fun it's exciting it's brand new and anytime I ever said that I was gonna do something when I put my heart and my focus into what I always get what I want I always get my way so this is uh, no exception I'm gonna definitely get there I'm gonna be a badass bassist uh, just like with guitar playing anytime I I put all my heart into it. I come out on top as far as you know my level where I want to get. Definitely got there. Got there with bodybuilding, and I'm gonna get there with this base too. 